hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm showing how to install pfsense firewall for the demonstration purpose i am installing it on vmware so first of all let's search for pfsense in yahoo or google and open pfsense.org result so you will get a couple of options um, go to download section on the right side top So choose your architecture. My architecture is AMD 64 bit. So I have choose that one and you can choose the installer. For me, I need an ISO file. Mirror, you can choose mirror nearest to your country or your time zone. So it's downloading the PFSense. It's downloaded already and uh, let's extract it using 7-zip um, where I can I'm planning that there is one folder in so I think it's um, in another account not in this account mm, okay cancel it and let me create under downloads ISO folder now let it finish the extraction okay fine now we are going to create them we are going to install the pfsense we already have the ISO image file. Uh, I will install the operating system later. Click on next. Go to other and you can choose FreeBSD 1164-bit or 1264-bit. One of these. Um, let me go with the 1164-bit. Click on next. And here you can give a name. For example, um, I think I should give pfsense here pfsense mm, and the location keeps same I will give only 10 gigs because I don't have a lot of storage in my computer and I don't need it as well 10 GB is fine for me in the testing environment choose the ISO file from the downloads and verify the settings once more and let's add the RAM let's make it one kx of RAM processor is fine uh, network adapter we need one more network adapter as a firewall you know we need at least two adapter one for van and one for LAN so the second one I will choose host only finish Now let's power on the virtual machine. It's starting uh, the OS and it will auto boot. Otherwise, you can click one so it will boot from boot for the installation. <laughs> The installation is not that much complicated, it's pretty simple. Now it's checking all the ports, network ports, and the state of each port under the dependence. Click on accept or just enter because the mouse it will not work. Install PFSense, first option, click on OK, enter. Uh, continue with the default key map, you don't need to choose other key ports unless you know what you're doing and get a disk setup go with this option but if you if you are an expert in disk setup you will go with the manual option but for the demo purpose I'm not going with that you can see the overall progress and it is verifying the checksums and it's extracting the distribution files it's actually a, a Linux based firewall 
same like the most of the fireworks. Oh, overall progress 19 percentage, 20 percentage. Maybe it was faster if I have put two gags of RAM. I'm not gonna put two gags because I have to. In my later video, I have to make Windows 10, or maybe in this video as well, if in in case required. I have to run virtual machines, other virtual machines, so I don't have that much RAM. I have only eight gigs of RAM in my physical computer. So anyway, um, the installation is now finished. I like to open a shell in the new system to make any final modification. No, I don't need to make any modification. Just click on reboot after the installation. So the first boot is going to take a little more time because it need to create everything. It need to assign the static IP. Oh, sorry. If there is DHCP, it will assign DHCP. Otherwise, it will give an IP address for LAN access and it should create the firewall basic firewall rules which means the default firewall rules and other stuff so let it finish mm. okay okay it's configured you can see it's it configuring van interface vlan interfaces and fiber policies dns resolvers so it's gonna take for the first boot it's gonna take a little more time. Configure if I will. okay. Finally we are in the shell. So let's uh, check the LAN IP address. I'm gonna change uh, LAN IP to DHCP and I will put the network adapter as bridged so that I can get the IP from my router. So click on second assigning the IP address and click on enter for none. So here I am not gonna give anything just I need to um, zero dot one two three zero dot zero network. 192.168.0.2 okay let me let me give one ip address that is free my network 0.200 is free what about 0.5 uh, okay 0.5 is free so uh, let's give 192.168.0.5 i'm giving it static ip because i don't i don't want it to change and checking it again that's a problem so plus enter for none uh, choose the default sorry the mask as 24 and you can change it as per your network requirement so you can see that I have configured LAN and its IP is 192.168.0.5 slash 24 let me ping uh, my computer if I'm getting a reply, I believe my computer IP is 0 0.123. Mm -hmm. Properties, go to properties. Let's see what is the okay, zero packets, 100 percentage packet loss. Okay, um, uh, let me ping 192.168.0.5 from my physical computer. Yeah, I'm getting reply. Good to go. Close this one. Let's open a browser and access our PFSense firewall using this idea. Let's check it out. Open the Dragon browser. One eighty two one sixty eight zero dot five. Okay, fine. So you need to proceed. Even if it's not secure, because you need to configure everything. Uh, give the username and password. Uh, what is the default username and password? I don't remember. Let's search in Yahoo. 
default username and password i believe it's admin and pf sense yeah admin and pf sense password is pf sense you need to change it later on great we are in the pf sense console so this is the initial setup of our firewall you just need to click next here mm, next again here you can give a, a name for the host host name for your pfSense firewall and if you have a dns server internal DS, dns server you can give a dns server here click on next and it's term server you don't need to change it actually but time zone you can change uh, depending on the time zone uh, for us it's uh, dubai gmt plus four it's going to be under asia asia uh, asia almost must get where is that okay asia dubai click on next and van interface keep it as dhcp for time being we can change it later Mm, and figure one interface but if you have if you want you can give a static ip now itself you don't need to uh, if you have the present ip because i didn't design the network still so that's why i don't want to give any dummy ips uh, let me give the password i'm changing the default password now so next time i won't be able to access pfsense with the default username and password username is going to be same it's, it's going to be admin only but the password is going to change so congratulations pfsense is now configured let's try to reboot mm -hmm. no it's uh, it's not rebooting mm -hmm. let's wait for a few seconds in case oh, okay okay um what i forget let me bookmark and um, okay what i need to do i need to click on finish i need to click on finish so that the configuration is done now now you can see that my van ip is there lan ip is there and we have done the initial configuration for our pf sense so in coming videos we will discuss about the pfsense and its configuration and all this stuff so i hope you enjoy this video guys thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye